already. Doesn't have a shuttle out though, uh, but it looks like he's going to go for a shuttle drop in the back uh, back door. Unfortunately, keep in mind that's where that sunk colony is, and there's two overlords uh, just waiting there. Uh, looks like sunk colony, uh, sunk colony going down to the mineral only expansion outside the base as well, and there's overlords already waiting at that location as well. Uh, <clears throat> and and we'll see uh, another sunk colony also going down a little bit uh, at the at the natural expansion, a little bit uh, too far out to do with uh, Dark Templar, but uh, we'll see. And now uh, another probe manages to sneak by. So uh, it looks like there aren't any, it looks like the zerglings took off in the field. Uh, drop sh uh, yeah, the shuttle being uh, loaded up. It looks like a single Templar has been produced in the meantime. Another gateway going down, so five gateways in total. And we'll see the shuttle's headed for the main, but uh, keep in mind. And it looks like the overlord, no, just, uh, sorry, there's an overlord camp right over the main. A little bit camouflage in there. Another overlord uh, pushing out. I think it's going to end up seeing these Dark Templars as they push in. Uh, maybe if these Dark Templar can uh, get a drop right on that sun colony, some Zerglings being produced along the side. But I don't think they're going to be all that effective. It looks like it has now been spotted out. We'll see if he uh, reacts accordingly. And adjusts. Uh, yeah, gonna push into the main. We'll see how many kills he can get with this, uh, or if he can take the sun colony down. Looks like uh, Freaky has not noticed it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's only two Dark Templar uh, and, a, and two Zealots. They do manage to get the sun colony down, but they're still detected. Uh, managed to get a couple drone kills there, and now trying to attack what, uh, whatever else they can uh, before. And it doesn't look like he, it looks like he's gonna allow one Dark Templar to just die uh, to, to kind of sacrifice one to save the other. I guess actually no, leaving both in the base, uh, kind of pretending like he's leaving. Actually uh, leaving with the other Dark Templar. Now speed upgraded overlords though and they're, they're going to detect this overlord that's uh, this Dark Templar that's hiding in the corner immediately and kill it. In the meantime, uh, Freaky using that distraction in the meantime to expand the, the uh, inside, what is that, about the ten, or sorry, the 10 o'clock location uh, inside the uh, secondary of the third spawn. And uh, Corsair pushing out just kind of check things out in the meantime. And another drop loading up, this time with Templar. Uh, so going to go for some storm drops in the meantime. Uh, it looks like he's got five gateways up and just start, and he's also got the observatory up to deal with lurkers if he needs to. Uh, and we'll see another overlord, but now they're speed upgraded. He doesn't have to worry about as much with the Corsair harass. A couple Zerglings scouting out, and I think these, uh, wow, these Zerglings are definitely going to, all of them heading directly uh, for that secondary. I'm sorry for that expansion that Freaky just put up. And uh, yeah, having to cancel that, also losing a pylon and a probe along the side. Uh, Could have been worse, but uh, managed to cancel in time. Definitely going to. And Corsair uh, gonna, oh, just about got taken out by the Scourges, but the Scourges, for whatever reason, decided to stop and go, her? Uh, Scourges being uh, drawn off, though, <laughs> with the Corsair uh, to allow that uh, to allow the, the shuttle, actually, to, to push through in the meantime. And now it looks like the, uh, the Scourges being held up short. Another hatchery going down inside the, uh, what is that, the mm, 5 o'clock expansion expansion with the double gas uh, so and it looks like actually both double gas is starting to be so freaky thinking about taking both double gases here so uh, switching very quickly he only needs to take one really to go to hive tech in my opinion but uh, it looks like this uh, ooh, this shuttle being intercepted by two hydralisks along the side there uh, but it looks like it is going to be able uh, it is able to get in but uh, not going to be able to get any kills we'll see what it can do in the meantime uh, it looks like, wow, a gateway being taken down at the front uh, doesn't want that gateway up anymore. The shuttle had to drop the uh, oof, uh, Templar storing themselves. Never a good situation. Had to drop because there's some mutalisks out as well as hydralisks bearing down on it. Uh, so halted up. Uh, gateway is now opening up the front door and some zealots starting to push out as well as some two Templar. And this uh, this attack actually, we'll see if it's at the right time. There are some mutalisks out as well as some zerglings. I think uh, Freaky can very easily hold this off. He's also expanding actually at the 11 o'clock position that, uh, wow, just expanding all over the... Nice size storm, uh, catching a little of the, uh, some of the mules soft guard there. Uh, not as much as he wanted to. Another size storm completely missing that time, though. Uh, third size storm going off. It looks like he managed to catch a good amount of the, high, uh, the mutalisks that, at that point. Uh, morphing to Archons, and now he's got an Observer out there, but uh, four, oh, wow, four Lurkers coming in, and now it looks like it's full contain time. Uh, the rest of the Mutal is dying to the cannons uh, as they push up the front. This Archon's also getting sacrificed at the front door. So we've got about uh, five Hydralists and three Lurkers on a contain here, uh, and it looks like about uh, three less of a control group of Zelts pushing out to engage the Lurkers in the meantime, and uh, and both Observers being taken out. Uh, it looks like at least being driven off here, uh, not quite taken off, so this is actually being broken. It looks like we have level one weapon upgrades, and probably not level one carapace on the opposite side so uh yeah level one weapons upgrade not level one carapace on the opposite side so there are some zealots roaming free uh but uh some zerglings being produced to deal with it uh, momentarily actually no let's look like there's a lot of zerglings uh to deal with this so he's gonna have to bring some reinforcements he's got the hydralisk coming in to reinforce uh, at the mineral only expansion but he's gonna have a hard time defending all these locations now pushing in on the double class uh, the double gas at the four o'clock uh, i'm sorry at the five o'clock location uh b leaving one zealot to kind of block at the ramp uh and it looks like this uh, hatchery uh, yeah and sending another group of zealots uh, to 
push into the middles as uh, the rest of his reinforcements being pulled across the side. Uh, gonna intercept it looks like a Hydralisk in a couple Zerglings, so at least he sees it coming. Uh, gonna have to micromanage on a couple fronts, so, they sell, so actually saving the 4 o'clock location, and in, instead redirecting the rest of the Zelts there, even though there's already Hydralisks uh, waiting and wait. Uh, waiting and wait, what the frick. Uh, uh, two OBS being killed right there, waiting, uh, looks like, yeah, these Zelts kind of getting stranded. Uh, I'm surprised by this. In the meantime, uh, just kind of using this distraction tech to take uh, the mineral only expansion, realizing he's kind of falling behind economically. Uh, taking the mineral only expansion, he's still gonna, it looks like he's got, uh, just trying to press that upgrade advantage. He's got more reinforcements that are gonna be taking, and wow, bring down some Zel some Dragoons as well. Still pressing this, uh, but still, I think Freaky's reinforcements will be enough to take care of this. Also dropping lurkers there. Uh, it looks down, it looks like uh, at the gate to deal with any reinforcements coming in. But no, it looks like Freaky's managed to sneak through with about four Dragoons and four Zealots uh, and, and starting to pour reinforcements there at the double gas at the uh, the 4 o'clock location. Then a large grouping of Hydralisk and Zerglings coming in in the meantime uh, to hold the ramp, and they, they're going to be able to take this hatchery out. Wow. Uh, able to take the hatchery out, and uh, so Freaky not not able to reinforce, not able to cut off their, the stem of reinforcements at their flow, so end up losing a hatchery there, and so that's a big, uh, absolutely huge boon for Grin. Uh, Grin, in the meantime, has the third expansion up, <clears throat> has uh, three cannons down right next to it. And looks like he's set up to take the 12 o'clock expansion as well. Uh, and he's even got a Templar in there along the side. Looks like a... Uh, gonna lose a couple forces though here in the oh no actually uh, managing to hold that he is an observer there so uh, wow so successful attack there it looks like we're seeing a counter attack of zerglings pushing up uh, but very quickly meeting heavy resistance and it doesn't look like there's a lot of reinforcements pushing in, in the meantime uh, I really feel like Freaky is actually um, yeah I know uh, Freaky is uh, falling back is just kind of falling behind a little bit uh, Grin is by the way the yellow Protoss and Freaky did I screw it up again whatever continuing uh, I really feel like Freaky, though, at the moment, is just kind of falling, it just fell a little bit behind there as far as micromanagement, or I'm sorry, macro management. Uh, looks like he's setting up, he's thinking about taking that double gas again away from these uh, couple Dragoons. He definitely has uh, these Dragoons to sell it in this Templar. He definitely has them pinned in. Trying to set up at the opposite double gas. I'm sorry. Um, did it again. But a Zealot coming in right now, and it looks like it's going to spot it out. The double gas to the 9 o'clock, so getting spotted out immediately, getting taken down. Freak in the meantime, expanding once again with this distraction at the 12 o'clock location. Uh, and like, special apologies to Freaky. That's freaking A. Um... Uh, in the meantime, looks like he uh, reclaimed the other opposite double gas. He's going to have to cancel this hatchery, though. Uh, so, wow, getting uh, taken out here. And it looks like in a minute, uh, we're going to see Grin to take the economic advantage. So Freaky, and uh, yeah, it looks like Freaky's actually putting up, uh, what is he doing here? Uh, coming up with some reinforcement. A couple of Zerglings coming in, but they're they're not going to be able to stop these Zealots and this, these Templar here uh, in that location. A couple of cannons going down at the 12 o'clock location. That hasn't even been scattered out yet. Uh, Grin, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, Freaky on the opposite side, though. At the 11 o'clock location, uh, it looks like he's got two Sultan Colonies, a Spore Colony, and a Lurker there on defense. Uh, and really, I feel like a Freaky just decided to push right now into, uh, into Grin's main. I don't think he has enough to stop him. He's only got three cannons and two archons uh, hanging out at the front, and that's and all the rest of his forces are kind of out of position, wandering out in the field. Uh, he does have that; he still has that weapon one uh, up, uh, advantage over the.